Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Rago Rock Lighthouse from Marineville calling Frank Lincoln. Hello, Commander Shore. Guess it's time, huh? Afraid so, Frank. Are you ready? Ready as a leather bee, Commander. Thanks, Frank. When it's done, guess you can go home. Home? <laughs> oh, it's a laugh. My real home's here. Oh, well, no sense in brooding. About to switch off power. And so I dedicate the Arago Rock Lighthouse as a national monument for the protection it has given to seafarers for over 175 years. Yes, there ought to be another dedication to the lighthouse keeper. Yeah, 40 years operating that light. He won't be forgotten. Service like his is an example to us all. Yes, but the lighthouse has been his home, his life. He'll be lost now. Are you suggesting the lighthouse should continue to operate just to keep him happy? Oh, of course not, sir. We all know that would be dangerous. Yes. In one hour, the first aircraft will be coming into land at the new airbase on Arrigo Point. And the light would confuse the runway approach. Right. I'm as sorry about all this as you are. But the medal that we are to present him will show our appreciation. We could throw a party for him. Guess he'd like that. Oh, that's a great idea, Father. He'll be the guest of honor. Swell, Atlanta. Guess old Frank hasn't been to a party in years. He's led a tough, lonely life with only the sea for a companion. <laughs> So long. I'll miss you. Your winking eye is gonna be in the way from now on. So you've had to be put out. You're a national monument now. Here comes the first aircraft. Eagle 127 to Arago Tower. 
approaching you from the south. Request landing instructions. One, two, seven from Arago, Roger. Call when joining circuit. Runway in use, two, nine. There go the landing lights. You go out, old friend, and they go on. Winking for six generations. Now out forevermore. Arago Tower from 127. Am I clear to join circuit? from Arego, clear to join. Approach on the B marker. Roger, Tower. That must be the B marker. But it looks as if it's in the middle of the ocean. Still, that's what the lady said. The B marker. Arego Tower. I'm over the B marker, turning finals. Roger, 127, you are clear to land. He's too low. You hit the rocks. Far up, man. 127 to Arago. Visibility bad, cannot see runway approach lights. Am I in correct position? He's gonna crash. They're gonna launch a rescue helicopter. They've gotta find out how that light went on again before the next aircraft arrives. The light is still on, Troy. It caused that plane to crash. Have they picked up the pilot, sir? Yeah, he's okay, but why is the light on? Have you tried to radio the lighthouse? Been trying since I got word five minutes after the crash. There's no answer. Mm, old Frank Lincoln will take time to reach that light. Yeah, that is if he went back to the mainland. Keep trying the lighthouse, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Arago Rock from Marineville. Do you read me? Come in, Arago Rock. <laughs> light. Come in, Frank. Can you hear me? Marineville calling. No answer from the lighthouse, sir. There's something strange going on out there, Troy. Stand by to launch Stingray. I want that lighthouse investigated. I'll bring her in as close as I can, Troy. Okay. Take it easy. Hey, Holmes, that's Frank's dinghy. That means Frank must be there now. Yeah. Why hasn't he switched out the light? Take her in, Phones. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Good luck, Troy. Are you 
she goes, Bones. Okay, I can make it now. Right, Bones. Pull clear. Listen out in case I need some help. B.W.L.O.R. to go up. No sign of Frank yet. Right, Skipper. Keep in touch. Bones, I'm turning off the light. Still no sign of Frank. Do not move, Tempest, or you are a dead man. Give me your wrist radio. Hello, Troy. C can you hear me? Come in, Troy. Something must have happened to him. Greenville Tower from Stingray. Contact with Captain Tempest broken. Request emergency instructions. Is the light still operating phone? Yes, sir. Then you'd better get in there and help him. Troy must be in trouble. <laughs> Skipper. Move to the elevator. Disobey and Tempest dies. center of the floor. Stand perfectly still. We are now beneath the ocean's level.
sculpture. Oh, you're okay, Troy. Now, what's this all about? Now, you tell me. Secure the new prisoner, Lorif. Very well, Chroma. We can now pronounce sentence. Sentence? For what? You attempted to destroy us by putting out the great light. What are you talking about? You deny that you extinguished the light? No. But what has that got to do with you? Without the light, we would die within a week. All our people would perish. How can a lighthouse keep you alive? I will show you. Observe the sea and enemies on the rocks of the ocean bed. When the great light flashes, the sea and enemies open. When it goes out, they close. We have harnessed the energy that they produce. The movement of each flower operates a small generator. Here you see but a few, but there are many thousands around our city, and together they supply sufficient power to light and heat it. I, I can't believe it. These guys have been living beneath my lighthouse for years. I, I never knew. Incredible. What it really amounts to is your lighthouse is as important to them as the sun is to us. It is obvious it was your intention to destroy us. So now... You must be destroyed. We've got to try to convince these guys we're not out to hurt them. It's our only chance. Chap for yes, two for no. Now, have you heard from Troy or Phones? And the light's still working, eh? Right. Then we must turn off the main power to the lighthouse from here. Atlanta, divert rescue launch eight to the area immediately. Marina, keep calm. Help is on its way. If you release us, we'll see that the light remains on until another source of energy is provided for you. We believe you, Terranians. We accept your word that the light will continue to shine. <laughs> Commander Shore must have cut the power. So, you lied, Tempest. It was a trick to escape. We are doomed. But the Terranians will die first. Now hold on. We know why the light has failed. So we can fix it. But Troy, if the main power's been cut, there's nothing we can do from here. This is another trick. You've got to trust us. It's your only hope of survival. He is right, Groma. We need the light. We must force them to repair it. This man was the lighthouse keeper. He knows how it works. He can fix it. You'll do what I say, won't you, Frank? Uh, uh, sure, sure, Troy. I, I get it. We could release the old one. Yes and keep the other two as hostages. Very well. You will have 250 light flashes to do the work. After that, 
Tempest and the one called Bones will die. 250 light flashes. Well, how long is that? I figure it's about 30 minutes our time. Hey, you gotta work fast, Brian. You gotta work fast. I want that lighthouse thoroughly investigated and Tempest, Bones, and Lincoln found. Rescue Launch 8. P.W.O.R. Oh, I hope there's still time, Father. There's gotta be, Atlanta. There's just gotta be. You'd better not be lying this time. I left the old one in the lighthouse. Good. Now we wait. If your friend does not return, it will cost you your lives. Well, this ain't gonna be easy. Stingray has broken the moorings. I have to use the boat. Twenty-five light flashes left, Tempest. Fifteen minutes. What's keeping Frank? He should be aboard Stingray by now. Say, Troy, suppose Marina's too scared to let Frank in. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Light flashes to go, Terranians. Come on, Frank. What are you doing? Answer me, ma'am. Which is a control? There must be a hundred different controls here. Which is it? Six light flashes to go, Tempest. Less than 40 seconds. Come on, Frank. Why don't you see something, ma'am? I'm trying to save Troy and Bones. Three light flashes to go. Two light flashes left. I guess Frank didn't make it in time, Troy. Yeah. The light. It's okay. Frank did it. You are safe, Terranians. You kept your word. We are all saved. For your death would have been ours, too.
power from Stingray. Returning to base. Everything under control. Acceleration rate three, Florence. Rate three. The light is fading. Yes. The Tyranians have tricked us. We are doomed. We should not have trusted them. We have one week to live, Laurie. Just one short week. And so, for your valiant and unfailing devotion to duty for over 40 years, I present this medal as a mark of our appreciation and thanks. Gee, oh, that's great, sir. I, I never expected this. There's more, Frank. We've got you a job at the tracking station. You'll be in charge of the signal lights. Oh, that's swell, Troy. New life's not gonna be so bad after all. So all's well that ends well. Let's have some music and start the party. Uh, one thing still bugging me, Troy. Uh, those guys under my lighthouse. Without the light, they'll die. Yeah, we kind of tricked them, didn't we? But don't worry. At this moment, the engineers are working on something that'll give Prisma light for all time. Yeah, but, but what about the aircraft? Won't it uh, confuse their approach to the airbase? No, Frank. We're taking the gadget out tomorrow night, and the aircraft won't even see it. It'll be under the ocean. <laughs> Approaching the area of Prisma, Troy. Okay, Fawns. Release submarine beacon. It is the Terranian craft. They have brought us new light. We are saved. The Terranians are good people, Crona. Yes, Lorif. Men of their word. We should never have doubted them. <laughs> say that you'll always stay close to my 